Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and in today's video we're going to be talking about something galactic and large. We're going to be talking about a hypothetical scenario of dark matter turning into regular matter, and we're going to discover what would actually happen to our galaxy if that occurred. So let's explore this in Universe Sandbox, and welcome to What The Math. So this particular galaxy doesn't actually have any dark matter in it, and you can see that if I were to accelerate time, things would kind of start falling apart very, very quickly. This is not a stable galaxy. To create a stable galaxy, we actually need to create a galaxy that has uh, these unusual red particles in them, and these particles essentially represent the dark matter. So if I place any other galaxy here, you'll see that this one is surrounded by these red balls. Each of those balls is exceptionally massive, and it's a very unusual material. It's essentially dark matter. Now, we still have no idea what dark matter is. It's, you know, middle of 2017. We've done thousands of experiments. I was about to say millions, but I don't think it's millions. Or at least several hundreds of experiments. We've spent billions of dollars, and we still have no idea what dark matter is. What we know about it, though, is what we see from the effects. We know that dark matter it keeps galaxies together. Without dark matter, galaxies would fall apart, which I'll show you in a few seconds. And uh, very recently, actually, in May of 2017, there was an announcement of um, a new experiment that's been started called uh, Xenonet or Xenon-1T. It's an experiment uh, that's going to um, hopefully try to find something, some kind of a sign of dark matter, uh, something that will hopefully establish what at least it's made out of, because so far we've detected nothing. So, what would happen if I remove dark matter here? Watch. Suddenly, things just start flying apart. So, it basically holds galaxies together, and we've uh, seen quite a lot of supportive evidence from other galaxies, and even from galactic clusters, uh, that would not be explainable without this unusual dark matter that seems to represent five times more matter than vis uh, visible matter. And uh, one of the other experiments thought that maybe something called axion, an axion particle, is dark matter. But we also have not detected any of those either. Alright, so what we're going to do is this. We're going to start a new simulation here, while still talking about dark matter. And we're going to place... Let's place a large galaxy. Let's place... Uh, I think this is actually the largest, M32. I believe this is the largest galaxy we have in the game. Let's just check. Yeah, this is definitely the largest galaxy. And um, let's run the simulation at a relatively fast um, speed. And we're going to basically take all of those dark matter balls and turn them into actual matter. So we're going to find out what's going to happen to this galaxy if each of those hypothetical dark matter particles became visible baryonic uh, matter, basically particles that we can observe and uh, that we can touch and we can feel. So we're going to accelerate time a little bit more until things start moving. And let's pick everything, click on these and convert all of them to full bodies. Now. I shouldn't have actually accelerated time so much. You can kind of see a lot of things are already moving on the inside there. That's the motion of dark matter because it's not just sitting there. It's definitely moving and interacting with other things. So the only interaction that we get from dark matter is gravitational interaction. But we're going to actually see what happens if I suddenly changed everything into just full bodies. Essentially just regular matter. So here we go. Ready? Steady? And... And look at that. Everything here instantly turns into what seems to be a black dwarf-like body. It's an extremely cold stellar object. And this looks absolutely terrifying and kind of awesome, actually. I also think they all went supernova. I think there's going to be quite a lot of supernova happening at the same time, because suddenly all of this matter combined into these supermassive stars that went supernova and will probably then go... Um, go on and collapse and become black holes as well, supermassive black holes. So, for all we know, 
Maybe this actually does happen, maybe dark matter does convert into regular matter somehow, but obviously we have absolutely no proof of it. But look at how beautiful this is going to become. Let's actually disable the uh, trails and the names as well and just watch this unfold. Accelerate time a little bit more. Watch how all of these tremendously massive stars explode and become dark matter nova remnants. I don't think I can do anything with them anymore. So, wow, I guess that's it. Oh, there's one that I kind of left out. Let's convert that one as well. All right, so what's next? Well, let's accelerate time and let's actually see what happens to this galaxy. And look at that. Everything interacts and starts to break the galaxy apart. That's very, very interesting. So the um, baryonic dark matter doesn't seem to do the same job as regular dark matter. It doesn't seem to hold the galaxies anymore. And that's probably because so many things um, got released during the supernova. So a lot of the material has been dispersed. But there's at least one little part that's kind of still a miniature dwarf galaxy here. Everything else, though, flew apart. Okay, let's try this again with a slightly smaller galaxy. This was actually a very large galaxy. Let's see if we repeat the same with a smaller galaxy. Will this sort of fall apart as well? So we're going to select these again. And we're going to convert all of them into full bodies. And right away, basically, they turn into these really scary looking dark objects. Very, very unusual and very interesting. Oh, there's one I missed again. Let's just turn this one on as well. Convert it to full body. So this is actually very spe speculative, of course, but it, it is very, very interesting to see and observe what kind of effects these dark matter balls will produce in our galaxy. Now, don't forget, we still have no idea what dark matter might even consist of. There's so many speculations. I think the the biggest one is that there's something called WIMP, also known as weakly interacting massive particles. Basically, really, really large particles that just don't really interact with regular matter, but do have extremely massive um, gravitational field. Uh, and um, this experiment by the name of Xenonite is hoping to discover what these particles might contain and might actually be made out of. Now, one thing about this experiment is that it is it's actually kind of cool. Basically, it's like three and a half kilometers down in the ground in the cave. And uh, it's inside a container filled with like hundreds and hundreds of liters of liquid xenon. Xenon is a gas that doesn't interact with anything very well. But um, it's located in such an unusual area because this is where you would detect no radiation practically nothing at all. Oh wow, look at this. This is beautiful. Very gorgeous. All of these are just regular supernova that are releasing a tremendous amount of mass. I think each of these little supernova particles, um, yeah, it weighs, or the mass of it is like something like 20 billion masses of sun, I think. Very, very massive. And this is why there's a sudden um, loss of mass in dark matter. This is why the galaxy will actually probably fall apart again. But yeah, going back to the experiment, it is actually uh, located in, in such a location. And the reason they're using xenon is because it doesn't interact with anything. So if there is a dark matter particle that suddenly strikes this location, they'll be able to detect it, hopefully. And when an energy particle passes through uh, that particular container they've created, it will actually produce a light. It will make a light. Um, oh, wow. They actually fly through each other. That's insane. Really interesting. So it will produce a light particle similar to this, I guess. And you'll be able to see and detect it using the super highly sensitive detectors that they've put into those um, xenon containers. So maybe in the next few years, we'll be able to discover what dark matter really is. Or maybe we'll be able to explain the actual phenomenon of dark matter in some other way. So far, we have no idea. It's very speculative. And the only thing we know about it is that it seems to exist simply because of the interaction of matter um, in various galaxies. And it looks like this galaxy is actually not falling apart. It looks like this was actually just small enough for it to kind of exist uh, even 
if I kind of lost a huge amount of mass because of those supernova. Well, anyway, that's really cool, but that's all I wanted to say in this video, and hopefully you learned something from it. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe, share this video with someone who enjoys watching space videos and wants to learn through video games, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Come back tomorrow to learn something else, space out, and as always, bye bye. And let's just fly around with one of these dark matter balls and just see what actually happens here. They don't seem to interact still. They don't really collide with anything, they don't combine with anything. They literally just pass through matter. So maybe this is actually what they look like. If we were to see them, maybe this is actually what's happening here. Pretty awesome.